In this session, we'll have a quick overview of Cispro Avanti. The first thing we'll do in is type in our username. Once you tab off the username, the system will validate you and return back a list of all of the companies you have access to. Simply select the required company and click on the sign in button. During this process, you will be authenticated and your custom menu will be synced down to your particular browser. Once signed in, you will have a view of all of the applications that you have been given access to. You will also have an entire menu system where you can go through every single one of the 3000 programs within the system. This menu system is completely searchable. So if you're looking for a customer query, simply just type in customer query and it will return that information to you. If you're looking for sales order entry, you can do the exact same thing. The hamburger to close it, simply click on that button and the hamburger is then hidden away. When we look at our menu system or our workspace, you can see there's a lot of programs in here. And in my particular workspace, I've grouped them into my financial programs, distribution and operations. The tiles are broken into two different categories. The first category is the actual program or application tile. And when you click on this tile, it will launch that particular application. But we also have a notion of insight tiles. And insight tiles combine information or aggregate information for a particular subject. So in this case, this is the average days to pay for branch 10. And you can see the average days to pay is 48 days. By simply clicking on that, you are able to drill down and look into the customers that make up that particular figure. Similarly, there's a days since last sale. And in this particular case, we can see there are 293 days since the last sale. And when I drill down into that, we can actually see the last orders that makes up that particular value. And again, we can see there's a number of active jobs. And if I click on that, it will show me the 179 active jobs in the system. I think the, the most interesting thing about Avanti is the notion of familiarity. It's a modern day application with the extensively easy to use user experience. So all of the applications have been built to work in exactly the same way or look and behave in the same way. That way, when a user logs in for the first time, once they know how to use one query application, they are able to use any of the query applications. I've just selected customer number one. On the left hand side, you will notice there is a card which shows basic information about a customer. We have some aging information. If you click on the links, those get expanded. We can now click on invoices and a grid will be populated with the customer's relevant invoices. You can collapse the links. We can click on performance management. We can go to linked views and we can even look at the customer notes if required. To go back to the main menu, simply click on the home button. This degree of familiarity is the same when you click on suppliers. So once you open up the suppliers application, this is a supplier maintenance screen. Simply type in the supplier code. It will load the information for you and you can go ahead and change the information and click on the save button. Once you have changed any of the information, the save button will be enabled. Clicking on the home button, we know it brings up a normal dialog box indicating to the user that something has changed. Clicking on no, will actually cancel that transaction out and put you back to the main menu. If we go to the supplier query, you will notice the supplier query screen also looks similar to the customer query screen. This way, when a user has learned how to use the customer query screen, he can also navigate the supplier query screen. And in a similar fashion, we can click on the links and actually look at the invoices against this particular supplier. Lastly, what we've done is we improved the search capabilities in our web-based version called Cispro Avanti. So when looking for a customer, we've made it really simple for users to find customers that they are looking for. So as an example, we've got a fuzzy logic search in there where if I were looking for all customers with the word South in it, I can simply just type it in and you can see the results are being brought back in 0.2 of a second. If I wanted to look for all customers that had a last sale date between that day and that day, we can automatically filter those out. So show me all customers that the last date of sale was between those particular days and they belong to geographic area E. And it's as simple as that to find information 
inside Avanti. Once you found the information, you can simply just select on that particular customer and the rest of the information is displayed to you. Another good feature is we've built in some tours and tours will guide you into using the application for the very first time. So here you can see it's pointing us to some basic information. You click on the next button, it tells you to click on the contact where you can see some contact information. We have carousels where you can loop through the ship to address, the sold to address, click on the next button, which indicates to you that this particular customer is in the age analysis of 81 days. If you click on that, you can drill down and see all of the invoices that make up that particular age analysis. As you start clicking through the tour, it guides you into various different performance matrix links, as well as the different age analysis areas. The one last thing inside our application is we have something called themes. So right now you just click on the name, you can click on the light theme, you can click on the dark theme and the system will automatically adjust. And lastly, you can click on the pastel theme, which is the default.